yeah let's get right into the tutorial today we're doing this image this is really sick image uh, this is actually wallpaper for your desktop and it's actually pretty pretty sleek as you can see here uh, it covers up the letters and all so this is what we are going to do in this video so enjoy and down uh, down in the link in the description is a link for this uh, uh, this uh, stock and you can actually use it you will use it in this tutorial so uh, first things first we we have this thing here this thing here is pretty pretty unique it has like CC's on it uh, I will actually control Z just to see what I used I used uh, this is actually I don't need that and I don't need that I only used this thing here which is uh, layer one uh, for uh, gradient overlay so let's go and right into the video we have this image right here, we're going to get it right here, I mean it's the same but we need to get it here, uh, cover it and just now we need to make gradient. You can make whatever gradient you want but for now I will make it uh, my gradient. My own gradient is um, this here, you can copy it and this here, you can also copy this. Click OK, click OK, and right now I'm going to make gradient all the way up, from up to down, from down to up, and make it like that. So right now, when you go to normal, you go to lighten, to color dodge, you will have that effect. But for now on, we just need this. So type in your name with... Uh, my name is Symmetrix, so I will type Symmetrix and cl uh, click uh, hold alt and uh, click right arrow to just stretch a little bit letters and what well, this will make effect. So I will use Nexabolt in this tutorial uh, just because it's pretty sleek font and I love it. So right now stretch it like that, make it like that and actually I'm going to make it a little bit a little bit like that, yeah. Right now, center it. Center it like that. And click on the font and click on convert to smart object and click on rasterize layer. Right now, go to the uh, tool, uh, erase tool and go to this tool here. Make it 20, 25, even it's okay. And right now, uh, go and delete letters. This is pretty simple if you ask me. You will need to make it your own. I will make it my own, so you can actually delete this here like that. So it's like under the leaf, like that, like that. Now, what you need to do, this E will stay because I need to delete all E. So I will make it like this S. So it looks something like that. It looks like it's... Actually, I can make it like that. I will delete this. So now it looks like it's in there, yeah. It's pretty sick, if you ask me. Uh, I will need to delete this whole letter, man. So, okay, let's just make it, make it like it's, like it's in there, like that, it looks pretty, pretty damn good. Right now, make it here, it looks also like it's zo zoomed in, and right now, R is going to be, I need to delete whole R, man. Okay, I'm going to delete it like that. It looks pretty sleek. I'm going to delete this here. Yeah. And we can actually delete X also. Whoa. This is pretty. right now okay so right now the name doesn't really 
fits in so if you want you can actually uh, delete couple of parts of the letters and you can stay let, let's say in this case I will uh, stay M and I will stay with the X or R and it will be better but if you want you can make uh, it's your it's your own choice so now we will need to go to the here and actually yeah go to the this and go to no click here and go to normal and as you can see it's normal and go to linear dodge add and actually it's not linear dodge it's color dodge and this will make this effect click shift on it and click shift down and control E and this will make you a wallpaper file export and save for web Lego legacy and go to go to PNG uh, 128 or you can go actually to JPEG uh, high if you want a uh, high quality photograph and this will actually make it save as and go here and make it wallpaper and this will actually make uh, save your image so thank you guys for watching